Hey, I was going everyone just back again with another uh, sequence of the end times video. So I was listening to um, a Ram Lob, who's one of the elders at GMS talk about second Ezra six, <laughs> and then it made me laugh. And then I found the sequence here again. So, and I checked my repository and it wasn't there, but he was talking about the firmament being the layer, like the ozone layer and stuff like that. And like, it's absolutely insane, you know? And then, so they're still convinced that they're the ones going to be preaching the gospel. And then, the books open under the firmament, which is what I'll read here, refers to like satellite signals bouncing their messages worldwide or something like that. And so it's absolutely ridiculous. These ball earthers are a comedy, you know, when they're um, breaking down the Bible. It's absurd. It's very arrogant for them to um, believe that that what they're doing is going to go worldwide because the gospel is going to be preached by angels. You know, and I'm going to read that in Revelation 14, 6. But I'll go through the sequence here, you know, again, in uh, 2 Ezra 6, it's absolutely incredible. He said to me at the beginning of the circle of the earth, again, it's a circle, okay, it's a two-dimensional, um, you know, figure, you know, object. Circle of the earth is consistent with Isaiah 40, 22. Before the portals of the world were in place and before the assembled winds blew and before the rumblings of thunder sounded and before the flashes of lightning shone and before the foundations of paradise were laid and before the beautiful flowers were seen and before the power of movements or earthquakes were established and before the innumerable hosts of angels were gathered together and before the heights of the air were lifted up and before the measures of the firmaments were named and before the footstool of Zion was established and before the present years were reckoned and before the imaginations of those who now sin were estranged and before those who store up treasures of faith were sealed. Okay, now we're getting some first clues towards um, the elect. Okay, so the treasures of faith were sealed. Okay, then I plan these things. Okay, and so all of this, all of this is an invention of God. That's what we're being told here <clears throat> in 2nd Ezra 6, that it's all his idea. And then I planned these things and they were made through me alone and not through another. God didn't consult anybody. Hey, what do you think? You know, what do you like and don't like? Maybe I'll take that into account. The God of the Bible did all this. Okay, we're just giving him credit for it now. Then I planned these things and they were made through me alone. And not through another, just as the end shall come through me alone and not through another. So there is no end times in any other religion. Notice that. Except in this one. Okay. The God of the Bible. The God of the Israelites. So, but first, going through our sequence, we have a reference to faith, you know, being sealed. Okay. Verse 7. I answered and said, what will be the dividing of the times? Or when will the end of the first age and the beginning of the age that follows? Now we're going to get a reference to Jacob, you know, which is God, referencing God's elect. He said to me, from Abraham to Isaac, because from him were born Jacob and Esau, for Jacob's hand held Esau's heel from the beginning. Now Esau is the end of the age, <clears throat> you know, this evil leadership, you know, ultimately God's left hand side. And Jacob is the beginning of the age that follows. You know, this is the elect who were sealed, ruling. The beginning of a person is the hand and the end of a person is the heel. Seek for nothing else, Ezra, between the heel and the hand, Ezra. And so... That's talking about this translation of kingdoms. You know, that's uh, that's going to be happening. And that's why we need an end times because we need new leadership, new rulership. Okay. And so that's, I wouldn't even say it's coded. That's exactly the, the, you know, salvation. Okay. The sealing, the elect being sealed. And then, you know, Jacob, you know, the, the 144,000 being referenced. Now we'll go into the time of the great tribulation. Verse 11, I answered and said, O sovereign Lord, if I have found favor in your sight, show your servant the last of your signs of which you showed me a part on a previous night. He answered and said to me, rise to your feet and you will hear a full resounding voice. And if the place where you are standing is greatly shaken while the voice is speaking, do not be terrified because the word concerns the end and the foundations of the earth will understand that the speech concerns them. They will tremble and be shaken for they know that their end must be changed. And so Ezra is asking, <clears throat> What are the signs? What are the lead up? Similar to what Christ says in Matthew 24. And so this is going to give us the lead up and then, you know, the time of the great tribulation. Verse 17, when I heard this, I got to my feet and listened. A voice was speaking in it. A uh, sound was like the sound of mighty waters. It said the days are coming when I draw near to visit the inhabitants of the, <clears throat> of the earth. That's in verse 18, 666. Oftentimes, not all the time, that signifies Christ's second coming. Uh, and when I require from the doers of iniquity, the penalty of their iniquity, and when the humiliation of Zion is complete, okay? God is attempting to embarrass his people to humble them, okay? Just know that. When the seal is placed upon the age that is about to pass away, then I will show these signs. The book shall be opened. 
before the face of the firmament and shall see my judgment together. Okay, so this has at least twofold meaning. The books being opened under the firmament is the angels preaching the gospel in the sky. Okay, according to Revelation 14, 6. And then these are the judgment, you know, for those evil people, okay, who are not written in the book of life. Okay, the, the, the book's going to be open and then they're going to receive their final judgment. And all shall see my judgment together. Okay, and so Revelation 14, 6. <clears throat> And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel, to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, an angel. Okay, and then that's also reaffirmed everywhere in the Bible. But here in Zechariah 5, 1 to 4, then I turned and lifted up my eyes and look and behold a flying roll. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I said, I see a flying roll, the length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. So this is a so-called UFO. Okay. And then it's a flying roll, flying scroll. This is the gospel being preached. And then after this time, um, you're, you're going to have, the, you know, this judgment. Then he said unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off on that side according to it. So after the gospel's preached, then there's destruction. Okay, that follows the sequence all the time. I will bring it forth to the Lord of hosts and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that sweareth faulty by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall listen as consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Okay, and so after the gospel gets preached, then God brings his fire, you know, with himself, the angels, and the elect. Okay, so just know that. And so um, that's what it's talking about here, where the book shall be opened before the face of the firmament. Okay, it's not satellite dishes, bouncing GMS's nonsense across the, the airwaves. Verse 21, children a year old shall speak with their voices and pregnant women shall give birth to premature children at three and four months and these shall live and leap about. Sown places shall suddenly appear unsown and full storehouses shall suddenly be found to be empty. And so this is now a time of the great tribulation. You know, there's going to be famine, you know, and all that kind of stuff. The trumpet shall sound aloud and when all hear, all hear it, they shall suddenly be terrified. At that time, friends shall make war on friends like enemies. Okay, the earth and those who inhabit it shall be terrified and the springs of the fountains shall stand still so that for three hours they shall not flow. Okay, and that's a reference to um, Revelation 16, you know, where the, the remnant which are in the Middle East in Arzareth, they're going to need the river Euphrates to be stopped so they can make that journey back across it. Okay, and so this is again, you know, this is consistent with the whole Bible, of course, but um, these are all part of uh the, the plagues in revelation 16 that's the final one okay where um you know the, the the water will be stopped you know so they can make their journey back and so um verse 25 and uh, that's in verse 24 you know 44 for that's for god's elect you know the ones that are uh off the grid so to speak in this uh, land where no man has ever dwelt verse 25 it shall be that whoever remains after that after all that i foretold to you shall be saved and shall see my salvation and the end of my world okay and this is this is talking about the remnant okay and they're not in america or whatever these ding dongs teach okay and so salvation means that they're going to be saved they're, they're not going to experience any form of god's wrath and then they're going to be preserved to be to be in the kingdom that's ultimately what salvation means okay so it's a broad term but um the elect who are the group one hundred forty four thousand salvation means that they're going to be taken away they're going to be alive okay but this group is also going to be alive and they're going to be saved and preserved for the kingdom and so, and shall be saved and shall see my salvation and the end of my world. So they'll see it. Listen to this. And they shall see those who were taken up, who from their birth had not tasted death. So they're talking about two different groups of people. And they shall see those who were taken up, you know, saved, the elect, who from their birth have not tasted death. And the heart of the earth's inhabitant shall be changed and converted to a different spirit. So now it's the kingdom. Okay. And so... That group, who is not in America, okay, in, in, uh, in the second Ezra, as well in the book of second Ezra uh, 13, where uh, there is talking about a remnant, you know, and then so I've done many lessons on that. And so, and they shall see those who were taken up, okay, so Christ is returning with his elect, okay, and this is the final 45 day period uh, in the book of Daniel, the 1335. And they shall see those who were taken up, who from their birth had not tasted death. Okay, so that this is 144,000 and the heart of the earth's inhabitant shall be changed and converted to a different spirit. Okay, for evil shall be blotted out and deceit shall be quenched. Okay, so no, there's not going to be anybody beating over the people of the head of the kingdom and all that kind of stuff. These people are monsters. Okay, 
So I say confidently at this point, it's what I teach her the Bible is not true. Okay. It's very, very obvious because this is the, the Bible is just, I mean, it's just plain. You just read it. And I'm not saying this to be rude to the Bible or the God of it, but it's simple. Okay. Verse 27, for evil shall be blotted out and deceit shall be quenched. Listen, what's going to flourish? Faithfulness shall flourish and corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which has been so long without fruit shall be revealed. Okay. And that's a reference to the kingdom. Okay. And so this follows the sequence of the end times perfectly. Okay. Not a big surprise, but everywhere that anything is related to the end times, you're going to see that sequence. And I, I guess I just didn't spot this one, you know, but I've got many, many other references in second Ezra, but it's literally everywhere. Okay. And so you'll always see salvation. In this case, it's a bonus because it talks about a group being sealed. Okay. And so that's always going to be first, first, top of the top of the uh, first event. And then I believe that that's happened already. Okay. And then it's a time of salvation or a reference to Jacob, you know, or his elect or the chosen. And then we have a time of great tribulation. Then we have a time of the waters, the springs of the fountains being stood still. And then that's fulfillment of the last plague, you know, Revelation 16. And then uh, we have this also a very detailed reference of the, the remnant, you know, in the Middle East being visited by God himself. And then that's a period of 45 days. And then we have the kingdom. Okay. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.